So this house on East Street, I'm really excited about because it's just southeast of downtown in Bates Hendricks, but it's in the part of the neighborhood that hasn't fully transitioned yet. This house is not in bad shape. It's got a bad addition on the back that okay. will definitely need to come off. Standard operating procedure. Yeah, probably yeah. a new addition back there. Okay. It's 1,300 square feet, three bedrooms, and one bath. Good news is that the neighborhood has dramatically improved since we renovated the other houses, which should help it sell. Definitely need some new steps. Yep. Oh, my. What the heck is that? Is that like the pass-through? You cook I, food on the other side and you pass it through? I think because there's no windows there, they left that there to get some natural light in. Oh. So there's this skinny bedroom on the front, and then this one kind of bumps open. I feel like this is one ensuite. Yeah, like, probably. Or, or the living room. Yeah, living room, kitchen, dining on like a, this front chunk. Yeah. We probably need to go up two stories on the back. Yeah. Right? And I think this shed addition has to come off for that to happen. Yeah. So this goes away. Do you want to go out back and measure? Because I kind of want to take a peek at the backyard anyway. Out here's a little bit of a mess. Oh, there's a little nugget backyard, though. Here, give me your tape measure. This is 20 feet, so I think we could come back further. We could at least come to 25 and still have a good-sized backyard. So here's what we need to do. The front of the house is really flat and dull. We need to add a bunch of curb appeal up here, and the first four rooms in the house we should convert to an open-concept living, dining, kitchen space. And then we'll do our two-story addition, which will include the master suite, one and a half baths, and two bedrooms. And most importantly, we gotta be careful with the budget. We can't go crazy with fixtures and finishes because we have a lot to do and we don't have a lot of money to spend. What did you pay for this? Uh, right around 50. Okay. So what are we gonna spend, what, 180, 200? No way. If we wanna make money on our house, the renovation budget cannot exceed 170,000. So we're all in at 220,000. And then I wanna sell it for a minimum of 275. We need to make a profit in order to keep us out of debt on this row of houses. There was not, like, any character in this house, so it just all has to go. Demo on three. One, two, three, demo! That's an open floor plan right there. I'll take you out back. I'm going to show you how to really open up a floor plan. Yep, there we go. Oh! Uh-oh! Watch out for that ceiling. It might fall on you. There, there. It's a mess, but this is always the first stage. Yeah. It always has to look worse before it looks better. That's just the way it is. The new floor plan now when you walk in is pretty open concept. You walk into the living room, straight ahead of you to the right is kitchen with an island, and then kind of around your corner will be the dining room, and we're gonna have a big long built-in bench as part of the seating. Oh. So then we could do a table here with maybe like a couple captain's chairs, but mix it up a little bit, you know? Plus, I think this is one of the ways we can give some character to the house by making it a little different. Okay. I think the built-in bench is just cool. Why not? Okay. So this section here, this is original house. Okay. And then the addition holds our laundry room, our half bath, coat closet, master bedroom, and the staircase to the second floor addition. So this is a double vanity. There's a toilet. In oh. its own room. Yeah, I love a toilet in its own room. So we've also got French doors off the master bedroom nice. because we'll have the deck off the back. So when you come up the staircase, this is all new addition. So we've got a full bath and two bedrooms. When you go upstairs, the bathroom's right in front of you, and then both bedrooms are kind of around the corner. They both have angled walls that the doors sit in to make the landing area functional, but it's also cute. Yeah, I love an angled door. Nice. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yeah, you should. I think we're gonna be in like, dare I say 300? That would be fabulous. That would be fabulous. I really want this house on East Street to be the one that kind of changes our fortune, that we really make some money on. And to this point, we've got the foundation poured, it's all framed up, and today we're gonna work on a little extra curb appeal. Look, she's flying up there. She looks like she's done this before. Oh yeah. The siding definitely will add some curb appeal, <laughs> but I wanna add some like, pizzazz with a bright front door. Okay. 
So the siding is that purple gray, the trim is kind of a creamy, and the accent is yellow, but you can't see the front door, which is yellow. We're not doing a, a trim piece here and then something different on the gable. We don't need a gable vent because we have the spray foam. Right, but a decorative gable vent would be nice, and then we could do the window boxes in the same color, and then maybe flower pots, big, tall flower pots on either side of the door. Add a little pop in the front. What if we do a little tree, like, out a little bit in that corner, and then some foundation planting? All right. Sounds like a plan. We are taking over East Street with cute East houses. Street is ours. We're playing Monopoly. I like to call it our Rainbow Row, because it's going to be the rainbow. It'll be very colorful. So our latest addition on Rainbow Row is getting a nice little coat of lavender paint. It's looking really pretty. Mom and Austin built our like dining bench storage thing inside, which is super charming. We also got the drywall up and started painting in the main living space, this really nice soft green, which makes it very charming and inviting. Mina, we've got a problem here. Coming. The inside is looking great, but Corey asked if I could come outside for some news, which is never a good thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was covering up a really bad problem we have. There's supposed to be a hole there. But I, he wouldn't have us looking at the hole if there wasn't something wrong with the yeah. hole. There's no water meter in there. We got a bad scene. Uh-oh. Right now, as it sits, this is going to be about 15000 to get this all dialed in, yeah. Our margins are really tight, and this is $15,000 that we shouldn't be having to put into this house. Yeah. At East Street, the exterior of the house is looking super cute. The picket fence really adds some charm to the house and matches the white trim. On the inside, we're installing a ton of kitchen cabinets. This is a massive kitchen, so to keep labor costs down and to stay on schedule, Mom and I are helping install the cabinets today. This isn't heavy at all. This is gonna be a huge kitchen. I love it. Interior finishes are moving along and it's all really starting to come together. We're going with a really pretty pattern tile for the bathroom floor. Done, 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 done. That's it. Good, good, good. And Mom and Bobcat are downstairs installing our kind of like gray, ashy colored floor that really is gonna look like it's been there for a while, I think. This house is looking really good. We're so close to being done. In the bathrooms, we have this gorgeous hex marble tile that really gives it a lot of a high-end look and custom kind of finish feel. We put the bench seating in the dining room just because it's Why not, cute and right? it's fun, and it was like a good opportunity to do it. The windows are all right there. And now our final piece of the puzzle is deciding on fabric for the bench. Today is the day. We're loading everything in, we're zhuzhing, we're finishing touches, making it all pretty, getting it ready for our potential buyers. I think this house is either for newer homeowner or someone downsizing. Yes. So we are setting it up in a way that it could appeal to young and a little bit older Well, it feels age groups. warm and inviting. At the same time, it seems very light and airy. Yeah. I think these cushions turned out just lovely. Here. Here's another one. <laughs> no, you There's breakable things <laughs> here, woman. It turned out well. I just hope that they love it as much as we do. Come on in. Oh, my oh, goodness. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I love the high ceilings. It makes it seem so much bigger. When we got the house, this front section was the existing main portion of the house, and it was actually broken up into four rooms. I already love the countertops. Yeah. The marble is beautiful. There's plants outside that flow in, and then there's this nice organic feel. I love it. So plant, wow. plant, plant, plant. It's nice. all part of a story. Yeah. So you want to move around, kind of check out the dining yes. room space? You can pack some people in here. Yeah. I mean, just at the dining room table, you could easily seat 12. And one of the super cool things about the bench, because we try to put storage in everywhere we can, so this whole bench actually opens up and is storage underneath. Oh, that's cool. nice. So this is your master bedroom. Ooh, I love it. So you've got a nice public area on the front for your patio, private deck on the back. As I said, all privacy fenced in. Yeah, I like the back doors that are just private so you go out there from the bedroom. That's nice. Do you guys want to peek into your bathroom with two vanities? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, this oh. is so nice. Look at all the space on the vanity. 
Look at all the room we would have. Thank you so much. I love this tile. I do too. It's really pretty. This to your right is what we call the throne room. So it's got a pocket door, so you can be getting ready and he can be in there. It's nice <laughs> to have options. Do you guys want to go check out upstairs? Definitely. Yeah. So this is one of two guest bedrooms up here. Oh. That's so cute. Yeah. I love the, the colors of the walls and the, the drapes are beautiful. So this house now is three bedrooms, two and a half bath. It's about 1,300 square feet. We bought the house for 50,000 and we ended up spending 195,000 on the renovations. So we're all in at 245,000. We're listing it at 280,000, which would give us a potential profit of $35,000. We we absolutely love the house. Definitely. I love it. I think it's an excellent size um, with three bedrooms and being so open. I feel like it just feels so much bigger. It checked off everything on our list.